Hey guys, Monty here. I'm just super refreshed and excited to be alive because I got to spend last night in a Quincy. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Hi, buddy. You ready to go camping? Hey, guys. I'm out here with my buddy Jake and Monty, and we're going to do some more winter camping. We had a real fun start to, to today's adventure. First obstacle of the day is uh, right now we're in a minivan. Jake's truck broke down. We decided not to take my truck to save on gas, but uh, road's not plowed. And uh, <laughs> we're debating if we want to go for it or not. Dude, it's not even bad. Let's go like 20 feet in and see what happens. And we can decide after that. All right, we're going for it, baby. <laughs> Monty, you ready for a real adventure? Even a snowmobile turned around. <laughs> <laughs> they did. All right, the off-road minivan's been defeated. We've got to find a new location to go winter camping. We already got the minivan stuck. <laughs> and we, we made it. <laughs> what? Monty, it's okay. We're going to get it out. Just relax. A few hiccups there. So yeah, winter camping in a minivan. Don't do it to save on gas. We're going to do two nights this time around. Not sure exactly what type of shelter we're going to build. We might build a Quincy. We might sleep under tarps. We're going to try for a Quincy, I think, but we'll see. See how much snow there is. But we're going to get going. Come on, Pete. I brought snowshoes. <laughs> right now we're uh, going down a somewhat packed road with no snow. Best place we could park the minivan. So my snowshoes are a little bit pointless, but I don't feel like tying them down, so I'll just keep them on. Eventually we get to deeper snow. Jake brought the skis. It's gonna be that kind of adventure. Oh yeah. We're skiing. Earn your turns. Mr. Monty gets a lot of snowballs in his feet when he's hiking in snow. And uh, our vet recommended this wax stuff, paw protector. And uh, we're trying it out for the first time. We'll see how it does. So far, he's not licking his paws or anything, so that's good. I had to shed down on my bibs already. The first spot we picked out was more inland. It was much colder. It's like 20 degrees here. Maybe warm, I don't know. We're getting near the big lake, which is not ideal. We'd rather have it cold. Snowshoes were made for three inches of snow on a packed road. Obstacle. We got to cross this little river mouth here. I was checking for a spot with solid ice. We got, we're gonna take off our packs and our sleds. Um, come here. It's okay. He doesn't like the ice. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go get him. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs>
good boy, my T. So on the other side, we found this little two track that Snowbill went down. We've been following along until we get to something thicker. We came across a clear cut. Small treat? Take a little snack treat? break. Oh, dude, he loves treats. What do you got treat? there? Treat? Is that cooked venison? Yeah. Treat? Make him sit pretty. Hold him on his head. Wait. Wait. Way above his head. Sit pretty. <laughs> sit pretty. No, oh, sit pretty. Is that sit pretty? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought he'd actually stand up. Like that. He he sits sit pretty. Fat butt. Sit pretty. <laughs> Good boy, Monty. All right, so we've been hiking a ways, and as we're going, there's like four inches of snow here, and there's no way we're making Quincy's with this amount of snow. So what we're gonna actually have to do is head back to where we came from. There was a lot more snow that way. And we're gonna try to build some Quincy's. Monty, what the heck are we doing? What are we doing, boy? What are we doing? <sighs> Watch your feet. So, so far, the little uh, paw protector stuff I put on his feet, he's got no snowballs. I mean, I cut his fur a little bit shorter, but uh, I've done that before and it still gets those big old snowballs. But this stuff works great. I'm really impressed and I'm happy that he's not looking at his paws and just running around like a mad pup. What are you doing, Monty? Don't step in my, my path there, buddy. You crazy dog. I don't know how these Quincy's are looking. Uh, <laughs> we were just, there's just not as much snow in this area. That's what happens when you just go on Google Maps and looking into areas. Some places have five feet of snow, some places got four inches. This is definitely one of the uh, things that happen when you're exploring a new area. You just don't know what you're going to find, how much snow type of forest. You know, if you're looking at Google Maps like we do a lot, you just see green trees. So right now we got our packs off. We're gonna go walk around, see if we can find a suitable spot. Will Monty go over or under? I vote under. Oh, go ahead Monty, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Oh, you went under, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we found a spot where we're gonna build a Quincy and a shelter. I'm gonna build a Quincy right here. And we found this cool ass little divot next to the thing and Jake's gonna set up a shelter right here. So we've got three hours till the sun sets, so we've got to get moving and do some work. Got a spot picked out. Right, Monty? Right? Yeah. Yeah. We're winter camping again, Monty. That's a good boy. Yeah. building the Quincy first thing you got to do is always pile a bunch of snow up Still, so I don't ever know 
was trying to get all this beer snow. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gotta love when you accidentally crack open one of your beers and set your bag down too hard. Monty, we're not we can't see anymore. Behind the big pile of snow. my weasels <laughs> oh Jake eaten by weasels on a winter camping adventure Monty hey Monty are we gonna be sleeping in a Quincy tonight you betcha so I brought out some beers and I didn't pack them very well. And I've got... It's okay, Monty. I brought some beers. I didn't pack them very well, and I crushed three of them. So I've got a bunch of beer in my backpack, and I've got like three half beers that I gotta finish because they're slowly leaking out, and are probably very flat. Is what it is. I screwed up. Well, as long as you, uh, make a cool looking shelter, that's all that matters, right? That's <laughs> all that matters at the end of the day. <laughs> Good boy, Monty. Spot. Are you a good boy, Monty? Are you a good boy? Are you just relaxing? You look like you got a nice winter coat going, Monty. You're very handsome. Yeah. You look, you look a little sleepy. Was that all our hiking? Yeah, well, I'll wrap you in that blanket if you get cold, but you look pretty content right now. No. Monty, what do you think about all this stuff? All this snow piling. Do we look like a bunch of weirdos? Cutting up dead trees and just taking snow from one place and moving it to another. What was that thing you like had? Putting it on and taking it off? Putting it on and taking it off and putting it on. Huh? Huh? <sighs> So I've been shoveling snow for maybe 20, 25 minutes, and this is how far I've gotten. <laughs> Only two hours. Only two hours. <laughs> oh, yeah, Quincy's. They're, uh, they're a lot of fun. <laughs> Jake is cutting up dead logs, piling them across his little hole, which we're going to call, are we calling it the rat's nest or the weasel's nest or what? You got a name for her? Problem I'm having is um, the snow has, it's melted, it got really warm and then froze. So I got this layer of crust and I don't want the crust on there because it's really icy. So I have to chop it up and then put it on there. And that's adding a little bit to the work, so I'm gonna keep going, keep going till dark. Monty's, Monty's checking out Jake's shelter. What do you think, Monty? Monty, what you think about Jake's shelter, huh? You want, you want that one? It's yours. You got it. We're gonna kick him out, okay?
done. It's done. Hey, that sky looks nice. Monty, what do you think? Monty? Hey, what do you think, Monty? Is that a boy? Yeah. Jake's over here working on his shelter. What are we calling this thing again? No comment. No comment. Oh, I'm going to call it the bear's den now. I've changed what I think. Yeah, I like the rat's nest, but the bear's den, it's definitely what it looks like. Before I let it settle though, I want to pack it down a little bit and make sure I break up any of those little chunks and just make sure there's not too many icy chunks on there and pack her down good. Jake has completed setting up his boards. He's got his little bear's, bear's den down here. And now he's just got to cover it with stuff, cover it with snow. It's good to go. And then I got to start digging out my, my Quincy. Ah! Well, it gives you something to do when the nighttime comes at least, eh? Monty's got a whole lot more chilling to do. Threw the stick for him for a while. Got him nice and warm. Right, Monty? Good boy. Oh, yeah, dude. There you go. Perfect. Oh, she's getting dark now. So, I'm going to take sticks about yay length, a whole bunch of them, and I'm going to stick them all the way, stick them all over the place in uh, the snow mound. So, when I'm digging it out, and I reach one of the tips of the sticks, I know to stop digging. So I'm just gonna poke them out a little bit, get all, do this all over the mound here, and then I'm gonna start digging it out. So she's been sitting for over an hour. I got my sticks in there. Now it's time to start digging her out. Got to put your bag in the middle. <laughs> that would do. <laughs> give me like three percent extra. <laughs> Win? I think so. Win? <laughs> yeah, I guess so, hey. Maybe if I was in like survival mode and I just didn't have time, I just needed the teeniest Quincy ever. I put my bag in the middle. But I think when you got time. I'm just gonna go ahead and shovel a little extra snow. Shovel a little extra snow. Just working hard.
My uh, shovel doesn't work so good for this. Jake's shovel works a lot better. This is like a hard plastic. Mine's just a regular. No shovel. This is made to be unbreakable. So while he's using that, I'm just using fisticuffs. So you can see my little stick ends. There's one there. There's one there. This isn't, this is just a random stick, but you can see the ones. There's also one here sticking straight down into the shelter. It's okay if you expose me. There's another one up here. I could probably go out a little bit more with this roof. But once you hit the sticks, you stop digging. And keep going. This is what happens when you jab too hard. You poke right through the back of your Quincy. Did it really? Shit. I made a mistake. Well, that's what happens when you push too hard in your shovel and you just go you're just ripping. I got a big old vent hole. There's a downed uh, balsam tree. I'm just going to take some of those uh, branches and just kind of cover it. It'll be my vent hole. It'll be the only one I need. <laughs> so there's my hole. I'm, I was shoveling too hard and I just went for it. There, that'll work. Now that's my vent hole. So we're all set right there. Monty's just chilling. All the shelter work is done. You can see my Quincy there. Nice and roomy. Plenty of room for me and Monty. We got a big wall. Jake used all the snow to pile over his shelter. Oh, take a peek. Oh, you can barely see. Yeah, look at that. He's got a nice shelter in there too. Nice job. All right, now it's time to strike up a fire. We're gonna make some dinner. Let's spark this bad boy up. Take this piece of birch bark here. And I lay down some logs this time. I'm just gonna take my knife, scrape on the top of the birch bark when you have stuff that's a little less papery. This, uh, hardier birch bark, I guess you'd call it. If you just take the top and shave it with your knife, you get these real fine shavings. Oops. That's, that's not looking good. We don't want to lose those. Gosh darn it. Oh, there we go. Just lost most of them. You do it under those. Ah! Oh! Well, that worked. Didn't even really get my shavings. This is a hard birch bark there. Out of my little twig bundle. It 
is dinner time. Oh, is this, this thing on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so for dinner, let's just move this puppy right there. Move out some coals here. Set up a little grate. Love this thing when it stands upright. Monty, don't get too excited. You're not getting any. Just kidding. Monty's gonna get some. dinner I am gonna have potatoes chicken uh, onions and a little olive oil with some garlic salt and pepper this I already pre-cut and everything so I knew we were doing a lot of work today so it's already ready to go just cook it up in my pan now I know you guys were telling me Dogs can't have garlic, dogs can't have onions. I know that now. So Monty has got his own little pouch with just chicken and potatoes in it. His, I'm just gonna not cook so gingerly. He's gonna get the nuke treatment or just the uneven cooking treatment I guess then I got some red peppers I'm gonna add to it after this cooks down a little bit my buddy Jake here is having pizza rolls and chicken alfredo <laughs> oh, I'm excited to try fire pizza rolls Oh. So I lost a few beers, unfortunately. They were like a third full and just flat. Just have a couple for tomorrow. Just having one more. I just I deserve a beer. A little goulash of food here. I didn't put enough olive oil in Monty's. So what's the plan for tomorrow? We're gonna just do exploring. Yeah. Yeah. Monty, you down for exploring? Cut up some firewood. Tomorrow I'm gonna make some good food too. Groaning, man. I sure hope both both sleeping pads fit in that Quincy. <laughs> they don't. Uh, well, mine just fits. Like lengthwise. Yeah. Worst case scenario, I, I've uh, I've done it before where I, was, I stick like the top of Monty's underneath my bag. I'm gonna add a nice chunk of butter here some flavor in and some greasiness. I'm going to give Monty a little bit of butter. Just a little. Mmm. Cold butter. Mmm. 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 
Oh yeah. Look at that. It's looking good. About time to add those peppers. <laughs> How they looking? Ooh. Those are pretty tasty. Want some? Yeah. Watch it, they're probably hot. Hot. <laughs> Wilderness pizza rolls. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> I have an issue where I put hot things in my mouth. It's your typical pizza roll, man. Usually put them in too fast. Ooh. I can honestly say it. This is the first pizza roll I've ever eaten in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the crispier the better. <sighs> oh, that smoke in my eyes. My favorite. Dan, come stay in your shelter. If mine's not big enough. <laughs> you sure there's not enough room for us to cuddle up in there? <laughs> These coals are low enough. I'm gonna ditch the grate for now. on the coals here. Speed of things along. Cause I'm getting hungry. Monty's I put into a uh, nuke mode. Cause he's getting ants in his pants. Think we'll get the van out? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's it's a got good bald tires. Huh? I didn't realize it had such bald tires. Yeah, that. <laughs> I thought it was stuck for sure. Oh man. We'll see, I guess. Hey. Monty's requesting that his food is done. What do you think, Monty? Oh yeah, she's done. What do you think of that? My shelter is collapsing, right? Well, I won't hear you scream if it does. It's got a lot of weight on there. That should settle it in nice, but... I definitely won't hear you scream <laughs> if it does. Maybe if you're really loud and I'm like adjusting Monty at the same time. No. Alright, Monty's is done. Monty, really come over here. We'll add a little snow to Monty's. No, let it cool down. Let it cool down. Get some of your dog food in here. Mix it in with your chicken. Yeah, dog food and chicken and potatoes. Little bit of butter. Go ahead, enjoy. Yeah, you earned it. That's a good boy. It may look hot, but it's not. I put a bunch of snow in there. It's just steaming because it's warm and it's really cold outside. Good boy, Monty. All right, mine is looking done. And Jake is getting cold and really wants to get the fire ripping. <laughs> so let's see, let's check this piece. If that's, oh yeah, she's done. All right, we can get her ripping. All right, 
let's let's just give her a shot here. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. Oh, that was worth the wait. Mmm. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. No problem. Mm. All right. Well, that's tasty. I'm going to eat this whole thing, devour it. Monty's pretty much done. And then we'll check back in with you guys. I am very satisfied right now. I don't think he's satisfied. Do you want some more? I think he wants more. But we're going to let this fire burn down a bit, and I think we're going to head into Holy Quincy. Quincy with a big hole because dad made mistakes. <laughs> Got a little frisky with the shovel. <laughs> oh. Hi, right, Monty. You ready to go to the bed and go to the Quincy? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Monty. Go ahead. Good boy. <sighs> I'm pooped. Monty's pooped. Jake's pooped. How's my hat hair? Is it beautiful? <laughs> oh, so I'm just nestled in here, getting all cozy. Um, Quincy's definitely got enough headroom. Doesn't have enough feet room. Me and Monty are nestled really close together. He's uh, passed down, as you can see. Ready for bed, so ate some good food, did a lot of work. Hiked, hiked around a lot, so we're pretty. We're just ready for bed. I'm, I'm ready to just shut off. I need to stop rambling on. <laughs> Sorry if I wasn't very talkative. <laughs> Dude, the fire. I'm so tired. <sighs> oh. Anywho, it's time to pass out. Catch you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good night. <sighs> Oh, yeah, I slept so good last night. Mm. Dick's running around, so Monty's all ready to get up and go out. All right, Monty, go ahead. Yeah, the Quincy got a little thin in some spots. It's okay. There's my little hole. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. She did her job. Sounds windy out there. But I gotta throw on some layers and get up here. Monty. Oh, you got to pee over there, huh? <laughs> Cold. Oh. Time to get a fire going. Make some breakfast.
Can it fit in here? Oh. Dude, what's up? <laughs> Monty, you wanna come in? I don't know if you can fit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he he wants to. He's thinking about it. Monty enjoys nothing more than fetching a nice stick on a cold morning. You want it, Monty? You want the stick, Monty? You want the stick? All right, let's go fetch a stick. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Good boy. Get it here. Bring it here. Good boy. Yeah, you got that stick. You got that stick. Yeah, you got that stick. Time to do some dishes. Monty, you think I'm cooking you something? Good as new. Well, good as new as mine is the stains and stuff. <laughs> so for breakfast this morning, I'm having a sausage, egg, and cheese muffin. Two of them. I'm going to have that for breakfast tomorrow too, but I got some homemade venison sausage here. A little bit frozen, but I'll just split this into quarters. I brought some muffins. got this egg carrier which has been sitting in my closet for quite a few years oh yeah there we go perfectly good solid eggs there's an extra large and it still doesn't fit they shake around so I just put this in there a piece of tissue they don't shake around much oh that smoke ah oh, it's getting me ah! going to cook up a nice pot of snow, make some coffee. What? <laughs> what? Good boy, monster, you little monster.
right. Melted enough. Melted enough. One handed crack, come on. Oh no. We got shell in there. Oh, I got it out first try. Go me. Oh man, when you crack them so perfectly, part of me just wants to do over easy. I can't. It's gotta be scrambled. Get my English muffins toasting. Take it, kind of form each egg into a little bit of a patty here. They are not going to be the best egg patties. They'll work though. They'll work. We'll just cook them like that and flip them. So I brought out American cheese to put on these. It's not real cheese, but it melts good and it tastes good on a sausage, egg, and cheese muffin. So that's why I'm using American. Otherwise I'd use cheddar and stuff, but it just works. It's classic. Oh yeah, I bet. Hey, that worked. I got a little bit of an egg patty going. Oh yeah. One of those frozen? No, they weren't. They were not frozen. Let's see here. Oh, woo! They are toasted enough. Oh no! No! Too toasted. Uh-oh. I gotta wait on the cheese. Get my uh, sausage with that on there. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna be delightful. Oh yeah. Would you just look at that? Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> Is that fire ripping? Oh! Shit! That one's getting eaten first. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Mmm. Excuse me, isn't it? Oh, it smells on the inside. Mmm. That's good. Mm. This is a high quality. It's so good. I'm going to devour this. So, unfortunately, I forgot coffee grounds. So Jake's got some backup instant coffee that he spared me. I'm going to try it out. I believe I've had this before. I 
Oh, you don't want the plastic in there. Perfect. Perfect amount of water. Yeah. Stay. Monty gets a little bit of egg scrapings. Go ahead, Monty. Good boy. Good boy. The sausage, egg, and cheese muffin. Great success. That was delicious. I will definitely do that again. Not that I thought it would fail. I knew that one would turn out good. Just because it's uh, very simple. But I do like American cheese only on that sort of thing. Maybe on a cheeseburger too sometimes. Otherwise, I know it's just not real cheese. And I don't really care for it. Actually, grilled cheese. That's the other thing. Classic grilled cheese with like cheap tomato soup. I just used to have that as a kid. Every once in a while. And it hits home. Other than that, I don't really like American cheese. It's just not real. It's just processed stuff. And why is it called American cheese? I don't understand. Can someone explain that to me? Why that cheap, processed, not real cheese is called American cheese? I don't get it. But I'm just doing some dishes here. Jake's out there pooping somewhere. He said he was prairie dogging it. <laughs> and then we're going to go on a little... Uh, day adventure, a day hike. I'm just gonna go walking around. I'm just using my coffee filter to filter out my water that I'm pouring in my Nalgene from the snow. Get any of that schmutz out. Works pretty good. All right, off on a little day hike. Jake's got the skis busted out, so you know it's gonna be a good time. <laughs> we'll see how many times he gets uh, those skis jammed up. <laughs> struggles, struggles with them. <laughs> I'm gonna get ya. Monty's always super energetic outside. Running around, bouncing around. Tell you what, as soon as I get him home, he gets inside after these camping trips. He is a dead log that just sits there and he's hard to wake up. <laughs> Complete opposite. Daily treat. Oh. I always keep a pocket full of birch bark. Whenever I find nice dead stumps or anything like this. It's always good to have in your pocket. I've even been I've even been at a restaurant before and I accidentally pulled birch bark out of my pocket. <laughs> That's some serious birch bark right there. We, we just came across a herd of like 10 to 15 deer. They all bolted that way. Monty, what are we doing? Oh, what's this? Oh, you're a good boy. Monty, there's never too much time to throw a stick, is there? Monty, stop it. There's just never too much time to throw a stick for good old Monty. Good boy. 
Good boy. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, vicious. You're so vicious. Just saw a little day hike, you know. Those are the thick, thick old woods. Woohoo! Surprised you don't got your skis on. Man, my gloves have seen better days. And we're just hiking through the thick balsam forest. Had to tie up the skis so they're easier to carry. We have discovered a hill in the forest. We will investigate. Make sure there's nothing peculiar about this hill. Make sure it's just a normal hill that we can go up and eventually go down. Turns out it was a very small, very small hill. What you think about hiking through the dense woods, huh buddy? Huh? Are you confused as to what we're doing out here? Go, give me that, give me that cute face. Give me that, give me that, give, 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 give. Hey. It's a good boy. Please, no. no. You've had spam. That's all it is. Spam it spread. Like looks like cat food. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I won't buy it again. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. It's not the best. Not the best. It'd be good with hot sauce. Not the worst. The one, the only. Habanero BBQ Blue Diamond Blue Diamond Almonds. Bold flavor. So good. You got me hooked on these. Mmm. Got ourselves a buck rub right here. Look at that. I just love hiking through fresh powder in a snowy forest. Finally getting to use the snowshoes. That's what they were made to do. Yeah! There we go. Got a nice little deer bed right here. A few of them. There's some over here. There's one over here too. Oh, and another one over there. Oh yeah. So we're just hiking all over the place all day. We're uh, trying to get to the top of this hill to get a nice view. And we're kind of making a big loop back to our campsite. It's about another quarter mile to get to the top. And we should get a pretty view. Probably just take them off till we get to the top. Uh, I just don't want to pound snow. I'll, I'll break trail. You're just determined to climb this hill on those skis, aren't you? Yeah. That's determination. We're so close to the top. It's right there. Jake faces his biggest challenge yet today. View. Hooey! There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The view we've been waiting for all day. 
Jake got to climb a hill in the skis and he succeeded. And now we're, he's gonna go cruising down this hill. This is the fun part. Like I said, it's the fun part about climbing hills. Oh, it's going down. Woo. Jake can finally go downhill safely when we're at the bottom. That was a nice hike. Pretty tired now. Sun's setting. It's about five o'clock, so what was that? We went hiking for at least five hours all over the place. So now we gotta collect some firewood. Whew! We just fed Monty some food, and he's just taking a little break after a long day of hiking, all bundled up. He smashed his food though. Didn't want even a sip of water. He hates when I give him water, I don't know why, but he's chilling. All right, just gonna get a fire going here. You betcha. Oh. Should be papery enough to uh, spark her up there. That was close. Real close. We're so close that it's going. I'm just gonna take your Oh, oh, gotta watch my sheath. I don't wanna burn that. These no. So that dead tree. Wait, you gonna put it over the fire? No, we're, it's gonna be a roast for a while. I'm gonna build up wood right here, and I'm gonna have the heat. If you put it over the fire, it's gonna cook so fast. The hell you want? Yeah, I want it to cook slow. So we're gonna stick it right here on a stick, and the the heat is gonna slow roast it. We're just gonna make it a hot coal bed and a hot fire. You'll see. So, for dinner today, I am cooking up a two and a half pound boneless pork roast. And I'm not gonna share any with Jake or Monty. None. So we just gotta put this bad boy on here like this. Oh yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. We're gonna slow roaster. Oh, it's gonna be so good. All right, the only thing that would make this better is my homemade porchetta spice mixture. Just 
cover it in that. Oh, it smells amazing already, and it's not even cooked. So we're just going to get that all on the outside. Just coat it. Oh, that looks so good. It's not even cooked. It's raw. It, doesn't, it can't look that good, you know? Oh, it's hot. It's hot right here. You weren't joking, dude. <laughs> it's warm right here. <laughs> oh man, I gotta get this done with. <laughs> Come on. I'm just gonna. It's smoky too. The trick is to only have one hand get covered in meat. That's the trick. We're gonna completely encase this thing. There you go. Now she's good and spiced. All right. Now we're just gonna roast her for like a couple hours. I'll slowly build up the fire this way so that you know it's it's getting heat, but it's doing it nice and slow. Hey Monty, how's it going over there? She's cooking. It's gonna take like four or five more hours. <laughs> I feel like I've earned this. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, that's a refreshing taste, a refreshing sip of beer. He's roasting. Slowly but surely. Look at that beautiful glisten. It's so beautiful and the smoke is so tasty. Bye. Oh, they're not burnt. They smell burnt. There's probably a couple burnt ones in there. Ah, you know, they look pretty good. <laughs> You're all stuck. I'll take one. Can I borrow one? I guess. <laughs> you guess? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me one of those pizza rolls. <laughs> look at a hawk. <laughs> yeah. Look <laughs> at oh, hawk. Yeah. Oh, look at that beautiful piece of meat. Oh my god. It's just sizzling so good. It's gonna be so good, Monty. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. Monty, it's gonna be so good. Yummy. <laughs> Look at that grease drip off that pork loin. Oh my god. I'm getting so excited. That was a fun day. How long do you think we hiked for? Or like, distance wise? Two miles? Yeah? No. <laughs> we hiked more than two miles. No, like two miles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God, it looks so good. It's getting there. It's getting there. We don't have too much more to go. Monty, are you excited? Monty, you're a good boy. You know that? She's just about done. Been roasting for over an hour. I don't think it's going to take the full two hours like I was expecting, but it's pretty close. We're getting ready for a taste test. All right, fire's getting a little too heated. A little blacking on that side. 
We're gonna pull her off here and we're gonna do a cut to see if she's done. Let's just stick her in the ground like that. Let's test her out. Oh, it's looking good. Oh, oh yeah. Oh man. Oh, she's done. She's at least done right there. Look at that. Oh man. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. That was good. Mmm. That was so good. You want some of this, bro? That's good job. Mmm. You can't have any with the spices on it, my friend. Nope. Mmm. Mmm, you try it again? You try it for this? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hunk of meat. Tastes good though, hey? Uh -huh. It's pretty good. Now, Monty is going to have to wait until I cut off all these spices to get a piece. I'm not going to feed him the spicy outside, but look at that stuff. Uh. Mm. Oh, man. That's a lot of meat. <laughs> it sure is a lot of meat. <sighs> it's so good. Let's give him a nice... Nice chunk. We're gonna just rest this in the snow for a sec. As I take another delicious piece. Mmm. Mmm. Armanti. Come here. Come here. Who's a good boy? You are. You are. Now back up and wait. Beg from a distance. Monty. Hey. Oh, look at that. Oh. All right, Monty. Monty's got a fair share of pork that I'm mixing into his food. He will probably just pick out the pork, not eat the food. But I think that's fair. You're probably going to get more. Good oh boy. Dad is going to take some more. That's for sure. Get a nice chunk of that. Mmm. You like that? It's getting down there. She's almost done, son. Oh my god. I'm so full. Ugh. I can't eat anymore. Jake, can you eat anymore? You sure you don't want any more? Monty's got a little bit more. Did you... You already ate what I gave you? I do believe Mr. Monty is ready for me to put his sleeping stuff in the tent rather than just sitting by the fire. <laughs> He's nestled right now. Go get him, Monty. Go get him, Monty. Go get him, get him, Monty. Get him, Monty, go. Go. Go get him, Monty. <laughs> Monty says hello. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Is it time to go in there, Monty? All right, all right. If you say so.
humble abode. Monty is politely waiting to come into the Quincy. Monty, come on. Come here, Monty. Come inside. Come here. Monty, come here. Monty, come here. Come on. Oh, boy. All right. Time to get lay down. Find your, find your way. That's the way. All right, I'm still gonna have to turn you around, Monty. All right. Ready? Oh, it's okay. Scoot your butt. Scoot your butt this way. There you go. All right. Let's get your butt that way. There you go. You're gonna have to get your head out here. I know you don't like your face in the sleeping bag. Oh yeah, yeah, Monty. Oh yeah, just give me kisses. Oh, 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 oh yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, gross. You have stinky breath. You got stinky breath, Monty. It's gross. I don't like it. That's a good boy. That's a good boy, Monty. You tired? You tired, pal? Don't know. You can't. You can't kiss me. All right. Monty is all nestled in. I'm about to take off this jacket and all this clothes and slip into my sleeping bag. It was a good day today. A lot of hiking. It was a lot of fun. We uh, definitely did some work today. Covered some ground. But we saw a lot of deer and stuff. That was pretty cool. We got that nice view. Oh man, I ate so much food. I'm very full and I'm ready for bed. So I'm taking this off and I'm crawling in this bag and passing out. I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Monty. It's time to get up. Monty, here's Jay cropping around. You wanna get out of here? <laughs> All right, it's time to get up. Good morning, Monty. What are we doing? Are we leaving today? Are we leaving today? morning I slept like a baby last night so Jake's got some stuff to take care of today so we're getting back pretty early I'm not gonna have time to make breakfast or anything so right now we're just in the process of packing up bright and early and heading back to the car seeing if she's stuck <laughs> well, we have that much more stuff to pack up huh Coffee, thank you. So you got a pine needle and everything for me? Vitamin C. Vitamin C. I'll take it. The boiling water? Uh, not all the way. Okay. You're getting sick of boiling it. Thanks, bro. Thanks for the coffee. She's looking out, man. All 
Alrighty guys, it's about that time. It's a nice beautiful morning. We're all packed up. We're ready to get out of here. Monty did great on another winter camping trip. Yeah, that's a good boy. We ate some good food, adventured around, had some fun. So it's time to get out of here. So if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. And I will catch you guys in the next video.